Hey guys, this is Maduba John from MJC Designs. Welcome to today's video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to use trace and reference and how to work with it efficiently. But before I do, if you're new here, kindly subscribe to our channel, turn on the notification button so you don't miss videos like this. Now let's get started guys. So basically the trace works like this. When you turn on the trace, it shows you where to trace, whether to trace above the current story or below the current story, okay? And previous story, right? So you can always activate which one you want to use, which one you want to trace. If you click this, all you will see is the story above. You start seeing the story above as you can see those faded bedroom you see the story above this is a this is um, a drawing i did you start seeing the story above same here when you click story below you start seeing the story below but this is the ground floor so there's nothing below all right but when you want to trace from a diff an independent source such that you brought PDF into, you want to trace from a PDF file, okay, and you don't want to start using the story above or whatever. So the, the thing you do is you create, you create an independent worksheet. So for instance, you have a PDF file you want to use, so you actually want to trace it, okay, and I'm going to import import a PDF file right now. Now this is the PDF file which we want to want to trace trace this join. All right. Now as you can see, I'm very sure that. The measurement are not the same. Are not actually the same. As you can see, this is meant to be three thousand six hundred mm, but here it is one thousand three hundred. So we have to scale it first. Okay, we have to scale it. Click here as the resize. Click OK. Click here. Click the end, and drag. Let's have 3600. Now that we have established the drawing right here, we're going to create an independent worksheet. All right, just call it floor plan. Or you can say 01 floor plan. That's it right there. And let's go, go to our ground floor. Take this. Take this, cut this file, place it here. All right, so we can easy, we can always, uh, you know, import the drawing right into the worksheet, okay? So it's not like we must do that on the ground floor. So what we do, we go to our ground floor because this is where we are going to trace right so go to trace reference a trace go to trace and reference okay we have to choose which particular um, plan or floor plan we want to trace all right now that we have we have our pdf on that new worksheet we are going to look for it okay browse as you can see it's not here so we have to browse for it and go down click this and say okay all right so as you can see we our our pdf is not straight let's see if it is straight it is straight here but it's not straight there we can we can always rotate it we can rotate it all 
can move it. So this is this is the PDF we want to trace. All right, you can easily change the line, the color. If you want to, if you think that one is not good enough, you can always change it. All right, you can reduce the opacity. Okay, and we have other options right here. So the next thing you just do, you just start tracing your wall. It's as simple as that. It's very fast. The reason we are using this trace is that it's quite it it makes us work efficiently.